What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima Device Vids, and Apple has released iOS 9.3.3 to the public. So essentially this is just a bug fix update, and most likely the last iOS 9 update that we were ever going to see. Essentially the change log just reads, iOS 9.3.3 includes bug fixes and improves the security of your iPhone or iPad. So Apple essentially worked really hard with iOS 9.3.3 to perfect iOS 9. And the reason they're doing that is because they're going to be most likely shifting their attention towards iOS 10. So they're just tr kind of trying to tidy up iOS 9 as much as they possibly can so they can move on. And that's most likely for those older devices, you know, the iPhone 4S, the iPad 2, the iPod Touch 5, those devices that aren't going to be getting iOS 10. So they're most likely just trying to perfect the experience for those devices. But of course, it does also apply to all the newer devices as well. So this is most likely the last version of iOS 9 once again, and it's going to be the most stable, most likely version of iOS 9 that we're ever going to see. And if you look at the security changelog for 9.3.3, I'll, I'll put a link to this in the description down below. But essentially, it's filled with, you know, a pretty substantial amount of bug fixes and security improvements things like that so yet again this is just further further you know kind of proving the point that this is just most likely their last attempt to stabilize iOS 9 most likely for those older devices but just for everybody in general just make iOS 9 perfect before they move on to iOS 10 all right so next up I just want to talk about how iOS 9.3.3 could possibly influence you know a possible jailbreak release for iOS 9.3.x so it could be a good or a bad thing. So I'll start with the good. Right now would be a good time to release a 9.3.x jailbreak if someone was planning to do so. Because, again, most likely this is the last version of iOS 9. So someone could release a jailbreak knowing that it's most likely not going to be patched until Apple releases iOS 10 in the fall. So, you know, we have a decent stretch of time that this jailbreak could live without being patched. However, keep in mind, no one has come out to the public saying that they're planning to do that. So that's purely speculation. But, again, right now would be a decent time to release a jailbreak if someone was planning to do so. So in that regard, it could potentially be a good thing. However, it could also be a bad thing because, as I just mentioned, there's a tons and tons of uh, security issues that were addressed. I don't know if any of these have anything to do with jailbreaking, if they could be utilized for a jailbreak. I just don't know that. But, you know, there's definitely the possibility that these vulnerabilities could potentially patch, you know, things that could be used for a jailbreak. So in that regard, it could be bad. But again, I don't know anything about these vulnerabilities, so don't, don't necessarily take my word for that. And another interesting point is the Pengu team actually has an iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak on hand. They were interviewed by Lee iPhone, which is a blog, and I actually did make a video about this. So I'll put a link to the video down below in the description, but essentially what happened was they were answering various questions because they recently demoed an iOS 10 jailbreak at a conference. So essentially uh, the interview, here it is on Lee iPhone. It's all in Chinese, so you're probably going to want the English translated version, which I'll also have linked down below in the description, as well as, well as the original one, but... Here's the English translated one. Thanks to this guy right here on Reddit, that username for translating this to English for everybody. I can't pronounce the name, but thanks to him for doing that. So basically in this interview regarding the iOS 10 jailbreak that they demoed, it, it kind of came out throughout the interview that they have an iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak as well. So basically the first question here is asking uh, why they showed off the iOS 10 beta version of their jailbreak at MOSAC, the security conference. And essentially th this is their answer. In fact, it was our temporary decision. We want to take the show to jailbreak 9.3.3 and look, but just a few weeks ago on the WWDC, Apple released iOS 10. We did a little research and found out that two to three vulnerabilities we had, it basically was saying that they were patched in iOS 10, but they essentially just say that they managed to find new vulnerabilities and complete the iOS 10 jailbreak. So basically, um, they just wanted to show off the iOS 10 jailbreak because it's more impressive, but again, they were planning on showing off a 9.3.3 jailbreak, which is just really good to know. Now, of course, there's some things yet to keep in mind. They made absolutely no mention of releasing this jailbreak to the public, so do not get too excited about that. There's absolutely no mention of that in here. This interview is mostly focused on iOS 10, but again, my point is do not expect a release from this. There's just no mention of it in here. And also something you should keep in mind is that iOS 9.3.3 was still in beta stages when this interview was released. So theoretically, the exploits that they were utilizing could have been patched in the final release, but I wouldn't think so because they did not disclose their exploits to the publics or to Apple. So I just doubt that would have happened. I doubt Apple would have discovered them and patched them, but you never know. And it's definitely something to, to keep in mind that, you know, this is for the beta versions. And also, we don't know if this jailbreak is ready for the public. Maybe this jailbreak can't be released to the public for whatever reason. So we just don't know enough about this jailbreak to really, you know, make any kind of assumptions based off of it. But it's just good to know that Pengu does have an iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak and that they're, you know, still working hard. It's just really good to know. 
But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys are now more informed regarding the latest iOS release and its possible relation to jailbreaking. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to iOS devices, jailbreaking, and so much more. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.